Alright, so, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're doing a reading for Sign of Sagittarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, help me reach the next level so we can get in a new deck. And if you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. I do preach donations here. So Sagittarius, let us see what Spirit has in store for yourself. There's a message for you, what's coming towards you. We have the lovers. Okay, look at this. We have <laughs> Oh goodness, Sagittarius. So we have love. We have you and a person being brought together. Then we have the moon. This may have been something you asked the moon for. I want to say just now. Just now you asked the moon for or some some point recently you asked the moon goddess for this, right? We have justice. This is divine justice right here. Okay. I feel like things are being made fair. Things are being made balanced here. And we also have seasons changing with this card. We have a ten of wands. Okay. We have the fool. We have the hierophant. Alright, yeah, this is something you've asked for. Alright, and I feel like there's new beginnings here. Now, the hierophant always reminds me of God. So I feel like you even asked God for this, right? We have the four of swords. The Seven of Pentacles. There's also like fertility here and stuff. We have the Emperor, which can be that of Aries. Okay, so you could have those placements, maybe one around you, but either way, we're embodying the Emperor. We have the Emperor Spirit here with you, Sagittarius. Alright, this is like for building, this is for action. You know, the emperor is the emperor. We have the ten of pentacles. Can be building an empire, maybe building an empire with your person, but either way. We have the ten of pentacles, alright? So we have we have abundance, right? We also could have commitment and things like that. But the ten of pentacles, we have a bunch of pentacles. We have money, alright? We have all these grapes, all this wine here. It can be something with wine as well. Or maybe this is grape juice, either way. Either one will do. That can be used as an offering for spirits here. Um... Either way, it all symbolizes abundance coming your well, coming your way. We have the Ace of Wands. All right, look at this. There's fiery, passionate new beginnings. We have the Tower. We have blockage being removed. It's boom. It's gone. We have the Queen of Wands, which can be yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. We have the world. See, we have all the elements. We have all the seasons. We have everything lining up for you, Sagittarius. We have a Nine of Swords. We have bats. We have the King of Pentacles. All right, we have a lot of wealth coming in for you, Sagittarius. Okay, maybe for both you and your person, but I'm mainly trying to do a reading for you, but either way. Also, the King of Pentacles. So you could have Earth placement somewhere in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe your, your person here does. The Magician, we're manifesting. We have the Seven of Swords. We have a Nine of Wands. We have a Six of Swords. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Something you're emotional about. We have the Knight of Cups. We have a We have a Three of Pentacles. You may be into art. We have the Two of Swords. There's some the Four of Wands. may have been someone you had conflict about. Maybe it was about the Seven of Swords here. A lot of you guys already know what that means. Now, I don't really like speaking that into existence, so I'm not going to say it, right? But maybe you already had that sort of conflict, right? Um, it can be an offer coming in. Potentially from this person. What you decide to do with them, that's up to you. We also have something about art here with the Three of Pentacles. We see someone painting. Art, Four of Wands. We're building tree houses. There's family. We have the Ace of Swords. We have someone here meditating. The King of Wands. Could be that a fire, so it could be yourself, whether you're male or female. We have the Hermit looking at some ruins here. So we do have some ruins that we will be looking at later. We have the Five of Wands. All right, look at that. We have the Three of Wands. There's something here you wished upon a star for. All right, you're meditating upon it. 
All right. You have the high priestess. So you're pairing as the high priestess, someone quite in intuitive. Yeah. Black candle, white candle. You have the eight of cups. You have someone walking away from someone. We have the eight of wands, but this is weird. Well, Sagittarius, this is quite weird. It's like there, there's communication coming in. All right, we have the eight of wands. Look at that. There's a message coming through. We have the magician manifesting eight of wands. It's like you've been waiting for communication. We have the five of pentacles. We have someone here been left out in the rain. We have the sun. So we have the sun deity. We have the four of pentacles. There's Sagittarius could be so much money coming in for you that you're going to have like an overflow. We have the ace of cups. All right, we have new beginnings. White candles are also important here. We also have fairies. We have the devil. Hmm. We have the prince of cups. We have the wheel. See, the wheel is turning, Sagittarius. We have the five of cups. Someone here may be regretting some spilled cups here. We have the nine of pentacles. But look at this. You're, look, your reading keeps pointing out to you, Sagittarius, money. Like, it was beginning with love, but look at it now. Money. Money, money, money. Money coming in a lot, a lot of it. You're going to have so much of it. Princess of Pentacles can be something that you're riding, but either way, look at all these coins coming in for you. We have the Temperance card, which is your own card here. Okay, we have Death, which reminds me of the Goddess Morgan. We have the Two of Cups. Look at that. There's Love. The Princess of Swords. I feel like you've been expecting it. This is so weird. It's like you've been like, watching, waiting. Strange. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Alright, so, let's get some runes, some charms to yourself. Number 11. Alright, so that's two ones. That could be new beginnings for you, Sagittarius. Okay, um, number 11 can have more meanings and significance to you. We have Serapis Bay, which is Sending Master of Light, which you are connecting to. You have Wajet. We have Chinese Zodiac sign of the monkey. We have the sun beetle, which you're connected to. Connecting with the sun, connecting with Egypt, connecting with the sun's healing rays. We have sun god Ra, which is funny enough. We have the green man, which is connecting to the earth. We have stillness within self. There's rewards coming in. There's joy. And you're going through initiation here, Sagittarius. So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop. Go on to go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like subscribe. Bye guys.